Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to episode 16 of Godstrides or Godstrides in the B Premier League, BPL Premier League. The first game we got is up against Aston Villa. And thanks for getting the last video to, I think it was 8 likes. And that's pretty nice. And yeah, I've read some of the comments on the last episode and I saw that you guys wanted like, like everyone wanted something else. Like someone wanted wagers, I think. Someone wanted pink slips and then someone else wanted, um, the creation mode series, and I think, I c hear me out, I, I'm not going to be commentating over the thing a lot, the gameplay, but yeah, Tarap scores a pretty nice goal right there, and yeah, just hear me out, I'm I'm thinking about finishing the trading to Messi series, and then doing like a review on him, like a squad builder maybe, and then I just, and then like, pink slips him, and, and that would be towards like the end of August probably. And if I could do that, that'd probably be very good, in my opinion. And I don't know if you guys would want to see that, though, but... Yeah, if you do, just leave it down in the comments. And this free kick by Tarapt, I thought almost went in. I thought it, like, sneaked under the keeper's leg, but... We do beat Aston Villa convincingly, 2-0. Benteke couldn't score. Benteke? I think I said Benteke. But Benteke couldn't score, which is good for us, since he is a lethal striker. And trading to Messi series like I was mentioning uh, like a bit ago um it might take like five more episodes maybe seven like the 20th episode is what I was aiming for to finish it but I think it might take maybe up to 25 but yeah nothing certain I'm trying to like trade more and like more frequently but yeah let's get back into Godstein and the BPL um so we're like nearing the end of the thing, the end of the season. We're in second, I think, right now. Yeah, we're in second to Man City. We're a game behind. I think one of the last games is against Man City, so that's going to be basically the championship game. But that's not in this episode. That's going to be in the last episode, I think. Yeah, the last episode, which is episode 18. And this is episode 16. So we're almost nearing the end of the, the series, guys. So if, you enjoy, if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to drop a like. And yeah... Schneider, Schneider's passing is exceptionally well. He's like grown so much, even though he's 28, he's like improved so much. And yeah, that was a great pass to Rodrigo, but Rodrigo just couldn't finish it. And you know, Drug was gonna um, Drug was gonna clean up every mess, clean up the mess, and he's gonna score to make it one nil against Manchester United. And we pick up a corner here in the 12th minute or 11th minute, 12th minute, I think. And yeah, we give it to Schneider like always. And Schneider's, oh my God, Schneider's corners are so good. But was that, I think that was Drogba that just chests it out of bounds, which is kind of frustrating. But still, we put on some more pressure. And like the, like five minutes later, and I think that was De Gea up for the save. Robin Van Persie shoots it wide. And if I sound a bit like angry, guys, it's just because um, it's because I played a game of FIFA seriously with um the squad a squad i think that i'm have before this video i don't know it's a unique squad and it has to deal with basketball that's all i'm gonna say about that squad but i did lose the game i'm just gonna put that out there but i did play really well and i, I was just angry when i lost the but we do win that um manchester united game 1-0 and something else i wanted to talk about i, I totally forgot it was the fifa 14 ultimate team news um i'm not gonna make like a separate video i'm just gonna make i think i might make a separate video i'm not sure not now though, like, everyone's making it, I don't want to jump on that back bandwagon, when, like, Gamescom comes around, I think I might make a video on FIFA 14, but, yeah, like, a lot, I saw, like, a, the, all the new features, and, like, I don't know why they're in there, to be honest, they look cool, to be honest, just putting it out there, they look cool, but, like, it, it sounds like it's gonna be pretty overpowered, if you ask me, and this game against Arsenal was probably one of the best games in a while, that's all I'm saying, best games in a while, and things get started off with Arsenal hitting the post, with Giroud I think that was, maybe maybe it wasn't Giroud, but they hit the post, and Arsenal, they hit the post like three times before they actually scored, let me get that out there, and sorry I just hit my mic, but yeah, we do get a shot in with Rodrigo right there, but it gets saved, Drogba has 17 goals in all competition, and I think that's like the same for Rodrigo and Burak Yilmaz, that's some great bit of skill from I think Rodrigo himself and maybe it wasn't Rodrigo it could have been Amrabat since he's the one that usually does the skills and yeah 
Let's see, that was Rodrigo actually. Great bit of, I think that's a reverse step over. And I don't know why, but I guess I didn't show the first goal I scored. Or did I? No, I didn't show the first goal I scored since I think the footage was corrupt since I did record this around like two weeks ago and damn, that penalty came to bite me in the ass when they scored an overhead kick with Zeko. The Zeko. I don't know how to say his name, Zeko, I think. And yeah, I'm I'm getting sidetracked. I said I was gonna talk about FIFA fourteen and I slowly stopped. But I feel like those like special chemistry things are gonna be overpowered a bit. Unless they're like very rare and they they're like Player reviews are going to be hard, is what I'm trying to say. Like, you could review, like, an informed player, and then you have, like, the powerhouse trait or something on it. And then you, re like, someone else reviews him with, like, the engine or something, and you guys have, like, completely different views. That might add a lot of variety, but that, that, mm, I don't, yeah, that does add a lot of variety, but I, I just don't seem too keen on it. I don't seem, like, it feels like it's not going to be that good. And Arsenal in this game it's 2-2 they're just hounding me with chances and then the 90th minute I give away a penalty Phil Jones what are you doing I gave away a penalty in the 90th minute Phil Jones oh my god and I think Podolski steps up to the penalty takes it saved by Muslera great save and that secures us the point which is going to be vital in our um, league title run and we do get a final attack that's stopped by Kyoshianli who I felt should have been sent off this game, but he wasn't. And yeah, the game ends 2-2, heroically. The co the gameplay was pretty good. If I commentated, it would probably sound better. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about FIFA 14. To be honest, I really like the cards. I don't know why, I just do. A lot of people say that he looks shit, but I, they kind of look nice. Especially like the pack symbol. I saw it in someone's video. They did like the pack symbol. That looks pretty nice, in my opinion. And the, the last game of the episode, I'm getting out of breath for some reason. I have like... <clears throat> something stuck in my throat. I'm getting out of breath because of that. And the last game <clears throat> we have against is, um, I think Southampton that was. Yeah, Southampton. Funny fact about Southampton, I think they're like the fourth richest club in the Premier League, but they always get like 15th place or something, or like 10th place or something pretty bad. <clears throat> but yeah, um, it doesn't take Southampton long to get a chance. In with Lambert, Lampart, Lambert, Lambert, that's his name. Sorry with the pronunciation, but yeah, Muslera easily saves that. Amrabat here just playing with the ball on the wing, crosses it in, and Schneider. Oh my God, I thought that went in, Schneider. I thought that went in. And another thing, yeah, yeah, another thing I want to talk about is the preseason game against Malaga Gods that I had. Pretty nice game. Schneider scored a pretty nice goal, like straight down the middle, but it had such nice dip and curve, and yeah, it was just a pretty nice goal. Drago scored a pretty nice header, it was top corner, and Coin and Chasm, nice to see him getting back on the scoreboard after uh, coming back from loan. I think we should play him, but I think we should play him like on the opposite wing as Amrabat. Do you know how he comes off the bench and stuff? If he played on the opposite wing of Amrabat, I think they could play like really good together. And a couple seconds ago, they equalized, by they I mean Southampton, and here, Southampton, you missed an open goal, wow. Which is, that's, wow. You could, I, I don't know what to say right there. This is on pro though, so that's probably what I could say. Here, we do get a penalty. Surprisingly, I don't even remember that, which is really funny in my opinion. I don't really remember that, but we do get a penalty. And, like, I've, I'm, I'm known to miss penalties in this series, guys, if you watched it all the way through. But Drogba, he's not going to fail for me. Drogba's like, I got you, Khan, don't worry. I I'm going to score this one for you. Don't worry. And that I think that wins us the game 2-1, securing us another three points. And I think that does secure us the um, Champions League spot. So that's why there's this celebration in the end. Like, I really didn't know. Since this was a league match, and I, I, the only guess I could have is maybe Europa League qualification at least. Maybe even Champions League qualification, but I'm not sure. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. I'm out of here.